Hello, my posse. Hello, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming into my living room today. I so appreciate you being here. Today's the get ready with me. I know some of you have been emailing me. When is your get ready with me? Well, today's the day. I'm not a fond lover of get ready with me. It's not for, you know, embarrassment or anything, but I can't see, and it's so hard for me to do these when I can't see without my glasses. But I thank you for coming over today. Today we're doing a complete CoverGirl makeup. Uh, I enjoy my CoverGirl products. I enjoy a lot of products that I review on here, and just because I'm doing CoverGirl doesn't mean that I haven't loved some of the other makeup foundations that I've used, but I thought I would show you what my go-to makeup is, and this is CoverGirl, so sit back and enjoy, <laughs> and watch me coming up with no makeup on in about two seconds. So today I want you to just know really quick because you'll ask me, this here wig that I'm wearing today is Polly Young's Jamie Lynn. And you all saw me do my six part wig review, I believe I did, they're in my playlist. I think the very first uh, review that I did was this Jamie Lynn in um, Flame Rooted, it's called. Uh, as you can see, it's rooted. Uh, it's a really pretty different color. The only thing different about this than when I did my review is I curled it. I wanted to put just a couple of curls in it and it didn't work. And so I ended up curling it all and I could never get it back to the way that Jamie Lynn is supposed to look. So this is Jamie Lynn curled. I just kept curling and it's VersaFiber. So it's curlable with the curling iron. But once you curl it, I'm sorry, you just, no matter what I did, I could never get it back to the original way when I reviewed it. So if you want to see how it looks uh, without being curled, go check out my video. So for right now, guys, uh, thank you for coming here. You know how much I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers who have joined my channel. I hope that you like it uh, and, and enjoy what I have to say and know that this chicky is 77 years old and I take care of the canvas of my skin. So the makeup that you're gonna see is just a cover up of what's underneath. Cause you gotta take care of that first. So hold on, I'll be right back. Ah! All right, here we go. You know how I love these get ready with me's. Something's wrong with my microphone today. So if I sound a little hollow here, I noticed when I played something back, uh, my microphone is not working and my phone microphone seems to be like I'm in a tunnel and I'm not, I'm in the same spot. So uh, we're gonna start this, get ready with me. I never know whether to just start out like this or show you my after at the beginning because then when I go into this, it's like <laughs> Anyway, beauty's on the inside, right? This is just all fancy fluff for the outside. But I did my skin already. I did all my um, vitamin C, my hyaluronic acid, my face and neck cream, and this is my canvas. And you can see that I'm starting out. This is no makeup. Just I just got my moisturizers and stuff on. And um, this is my canvas. And for those of you who have just clicked me on, yes, I am 77. And... Um, all my posse knows that. <laughs> so we're gonna start out today. We're gonna just do Cover Girl. Now, um, I've, I've done a lot of different makeups on here. There's some that I really like. My go-to has always been uh, my Cover Girl. Uh, I get more compliments on that when I go out. It seems my skin, it stays on all day. It doesn't stick in your cracks, <laughs> fine lines on your face. Um, so I, I really like it for matured skin. There's a lot of products. I'm going to do a, um, a review for you on um, concealers because concealers when you're matured is really uh, a trick because our eyes are different. Even 40 on here, some of you that are 40, 50, even early 60s, um, your skin uh, can uh, take more different kinds of concealers. You get past a certain age, your eyes dry, dry out, you get a little baggy. Concealers are tricky. Um, but today I'm gonna just do CoverGirl because that's what I have uh, in my arsenal of stuff. And I, like I say, I started out um, with just my, um, my moisturizers and stuff. And I did buy this, I tried this. This is CoverGirl, it's called Clear Fresh. 
can see I've got a glare here. But this is just a, this is medium, and this is a dewy finish. But, um, it's a skin milk for your skin with coconut milk and aloe extract. And I thought this would be really good, like to just get up in the morning and put this on. If you didn't want to put any makeup on, you had to just plop this on, go to the mailbox. Or I, I tried it uh, once. It's, it blurs imperfection. It says evens out skin tones, uh, sheer buildable coverage, instant all day, and it's hydration. It's pretty decent. I don't. It's not enough coverage for me, but if you're just going to do something light, I can show you. Um, before I put my foundation on. Uh, it is, it's pretty creamy. I, I'm not 100% sure if this is what gave me a headache when I put it on. I was looking to see, but the print is so small whether there's fragrance in here, but I don't think that there is. There shouldn't be. But anyway, this is really good if you want to try something uh, uh, really quick. I'm going to give it a shot again and see. I think it, the coverage is really nice. It's really kind of smoothing. I I, uh, I like the way it feels. I'm not sure if it's the one that gave me a headache, though, so I'm going to try it again. But I really, really think it's super sheer, and it's nice for just putting on, and you don't want to put all your makeup on, and you just want something to cover up your blurs or in case somebody comes to the door or whatever, you know, that's pretty good. And I also got onto, I started is my cover girl, um, uh, cover girl skin primer. This is true blend base business skin smoothing, um, primer. This here smooth skin and blurs, uh, flaws to create the perfection canvas. It helps extend the wear of your makeup and it lasts all day. It's weightless feel, and it does. It's It really feels weightless. It does, it does have like a fragrance to it. I don't know what the smell is, I could be wrong. Again, very small print, I'd have to really look at it. I don't, you know I don't read this stuff, girls. I don't, because first of all, I can't see it. And second of all, I have no idea what i'm not a scientist i have no some of you girls do you know all these ingredients and what's in them i don't and i don't care i just put it on and i i can tell by the first day if i'm going to have an allergic reaction to it if i'm going to get a headache if my eyes itch or if i get a zit i know that's it so i only try one new thing a day so i tried this uh before uh, it seems to be okay this one i put it on uh, forgot about it that I had it on and I went about my business and I ended up with a headache that day But I'm not sure it was this so I am going to try this again, but this is really good It's very very creamy uh, for underneath your foundation. I I'm a hit-and-miss primer girl. I I don't know I mean when I use my cover girl and I use my my cover girl I use there's a lot of cover girls out there I use the Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous. This is the one that I have used for years. And I'm not sure whether they're discontinuing this. I bought another one in its place and I didn't like it any nowhere near like I like this Outlast. It's just for mature skin. I don't know, it's just got enough coverage. Uh, it doesn't stick in your cracks. And it's just, I, I really like it. And like I said, I haven't I haven't ever gone out yet where somebody hasn't said, oh my gosh, your skin is so beautiful. And it's always when I wear this. And there are other ones that I do use that I have reviewed that I do like and some I don't. And I guess I can go over them all with you again at another time. But today is just cover girl. So let's just try this again. Um, and I have dark circles under my eyes. I don't know if that's just the Italian or what. And uh but I, I need a good concealer. I'm, I'm gonna put this CoverGirl concealer on. I'm not sure I love it, but at the end, I will go over everything with you and tell you what I love and what I don't love. So this again, as you can see, I like the consistency of this uh, Outlast. It's, uh, it's just really nice. And again, I always use my hands. I just, I just do, I just do. So I'm gonna mirror down here. So we're gonna just Put the, to me, you know, found it, to me, I feel like, am I going through puberty? To me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I think you, I think foundation sometimes is all you really need. If you have foundation and blush, you can go anywhere. Really, I mean, seriously. 
it just moves out your skin. Um, I mean, you can see how pretty that is. And I always go underneath my chin and blend it like this. I always do that. So you, you don't need a whole lot. And you can see it has a really, really nice coverage. Just for the sake of the video, I'll do a little bit more. But if I was doing it at home, well, I am home. Hello. Um, this is what you do. And usually always at the end of my um, foundation, um, 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 I just kind of pat it on like so. Just kind of, I just always have done that. I don't know, I just have. So cover up my number 11s. <laughs> and just like so. It looks a little light in the camera. It really isn't. Once everything gets blended, it is really perfect. So I think just for foundation, you can see uh, the creamy consistency of it. And that's done with my hands. It really covers a lot of imperfections. And I think for, you know, I'm kind of combination skin, um, Certainly dry, probably under the eyes more than ever. Um, but I think it's just a perfect balance for mature skin. I really love my CoverGirl. So after that, we're going to try. Now I bought this. It's the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Stick for under your eye concealer. I did try it before. It's a little um, foam thing there that pops up on the top. I'm not sure, I don't know, I, I don't know. It looks a little white, I know, it, but it won't once it's blended. It's not as good as my Melania, my Milani. I don't know, me and Milan, Milani just hit it off. It's just, it's just the greatest for me. And I'll, I'll go over all those with you one video. But this here, and you can put it on, you know, with a little sponge. And again, I always dab with my fingers. I do have a little brush like so, uh, if you so choose. I bought a whole bunch of these uh, that you can blend it with, like so. I mean, it isn't horribly co bad coverage, um, really. This is my worst eye. I think I've slept on this eye. And I just have this bag under here that bothers me. So that's what I do with my concealer. And sometimes run it down here. And this one here is color, hold on. This one is color, what color is this? This is 330 uh, nude chair, it says. 3.30, take my word for it, it's 3.30. Uh, and it's not, it's not too bad. I don't, I don't know. It's a little light, I think, but you know, I love light. I love like light under the eye, I don't know. I guess I, I was a raccoon once in my life before, I don't know, but I do like it. Oh, and so that is what I do under the eye. The next thing I do usually right after is I go in for my uh, my eyeshadows. Now this eyeshadow is new to me. I wanted something that was in a kind of the brown tones and this one here is called CoverGirl uh, True Naked Chocoholic. Couldn't fit me any better. Chocoholic. I love it. So it's got a lot of really pretty colors in it. They don't uh, they don't really list the colors that I can see individually but um these are the colors, and the pigment is pretty is pretty decent on them. Uh, it's pretty dark. It's pretty decent. So let's try. You know, I'm just I'm just a buxom girl. So changing eyeshadows for me, you know, I uh, I just got my colors on my buxom that I like, and you know, that's what I stick with. So, but we're gonna try this one. So today we're gonna try. We'll go in and try. Oh. Uh, 
I don't like glitter that much. Let's do, and I do like, I do like the dark. So let's do the dark. In the corner. I, I just like, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little hooded here. I have these little hoods and I find for me, some of you start your dark over here and you leave this. I find for me that um, I like that hood darkened. It just takes away from that bulge hanging there. So I, I do my dark over that. So let me put this on. This is all I'm gonna do. It is gonna outline in, in my eye and um, like so, I'll do the other eye, I'll be right back. Okay, I just did in the uh, crease a little bit here, and what I should have done that I didn't do is put uh, a little light on top of my brow bone here, and I will use uh, the second one in here on the Chocoholic and just do uh, my brow bone a little, like so. I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big, this isn't a tutorial, girls, because I'm just showing you, um, oh, hello, you're not there. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, kind of like the pigmentation of it, some of the colors in the cover girl. Um, you know, I'm not a fancy, fancy dancy. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> you're not there, Barb. Uh, like so. So I'm going to do that and just kind of leave it for a minute. And I am going to, the tricky one for me is doing the lids because I love my purely platinum and my buxom and I like my lids really light. Uh, I don't see one there in that particular palette that I like. I do have this other palette uh, from CoverGirl that is kind of a lavender and a white but I don't think, well, it's pretty pigmented, isn't it? The white, I like the my lids to pop. So I think the white on this one here, I don't know, this one is just called, of course I don't have my glasses on, negative space. We're gonna just put that white on the eyelids and uh, pop those eyelids open a little bit, just so you look open, eyes open, fresh, refreshed looking. And um, if your eyelids are drooped a little bit, this helps open them up. I do have another little brush here that I could try. So, I mean, that's okay, but it isn't like grand like I like. I mean, it's, it's okay. I, yeah, I mean, I like my, I like my purely platinum, but that's okay for now. Then I think I'll go in, I think I'll try this uh, it's kind of a burgundy shade. I'm going to go in and just do a little bit of the burgundy here. Just on the end. Just to give it a little pizzazz. Everybody's day is going well. I'm doing pretty good here today. My husband's downstairs um, working on my grandson's teen cave down there. And uh, then I think when he's done with the teen cave, I may get a studio down there. I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking of maybe going downstairs. I've got a big window down in the basement. I could uh, maybe do a little different studio, a little different setting, but I think you'll miss my living room. <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to see how it works out. So that is just to pop some color into the corners of my, um, of my lids. 
just to kind of set it up. And I also, when you, you know, when you're older, you get, it's hard to not, it's hard to put, it's hard to put the shadow on without pulling your eye up because you do have some skin kind of that folds there. So you got to be really careful about that. So I uh, did that. So then I think for, I bought, um, I had bought this one before. This is the, um, hold on. I bought this one before. This one here is called CoverGirl Ink It All Day Pencil Eyeliner. Um, and I bought the color in cocoa ink. So I'm gonna take the cocoa ink, it's got the little wind up kind of pencil. <laughs> and we're gonna go and just kind of line the bottom a little. Just on the lashes here. So we're gonna take a little bit and go and line just the top lash on that. And uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I just lined the bottom of the lash, but obviously it's too heavy, I think. We're just gonna take this tiny little brush and smooth that out because I don't wanna look gothic here. I got a little heavy because I can't see. On. <laughs> the ink pencil is pretty, it's pretty good. I like this. I did use it before and it does stay on all day. I do like the ink pen a lot. So that is um, that. I think I need a little bit more white under the eye. Let me try a little bit of this again. Hold on. You're never really done until you're done. You know, you can put on eye, all this makeup on until you get the last drop of lipstick on. It's never like a complete look to me. I mean, sometimes you'll know, you'll do your eye makeup and you'll sit back and you'll go, oh, something just doesn't look right. You know, there's something that doesn't look right. And really it's just, you gotta wait till the whole thing sets in and everything's on, mascara, then you can get a true, a true look of how that makeup is gonna look. At least for me, it does. I mean, I can look at myself now and go, oh, I don't like that. But then when it's all on, it's okay. So for my blush, of course, you know, I uh, wear my Instant Cheekbones. It's 220, it's purely plum, which I don't know if they make it anymore. My daughter did say she found it on Amazon. I've used the same color for years. And I like, my favorite brush is this little thing. I love this brush. Don't ask me why for my blush, because it, you know, it probably goes on uh, too heavy maybe, but I don't care because I'm a blush and a concealer girl. So the heavier, the better. So we're gonna just, you know, and I kind of pinch it in a little bit, but I like the fatness of this brush. I just love the fatness of the brush. So we're gonna put it there, put a little bit here, a little bit here. And I like it under the neck because um, I think from when the sun, you just kind of, it glows up, you know, just in the daylight. It just kind of brings some uh, glowiness and rosiness to your face. So, and I do like, I usually use the last two over here, which is purely plum. And I don't know, they used to put all the color, the, the colors are funny because they're on the little tab that you have to open it with. And then once you open it, you don't know what the colors are. So I do this, go on my nose, do my forehead a little bit, and you all know that I'm a, I'm a blush queen. So that is a little much. So let's take it down a little bit with some uh, more, whoop, take it down a little bit more, a little bit of makeup here. Just pull it down a little bit. But it, once I put the powder on, it'll be fine. It doesn't seem like a lot I did. I mean, I'm talking and chatting, but really I can do this in like, I swear, 10 minutes. That is pretty much it. I think I might, just for giggles and squeaks, on the bottom of my lashes here, I'm gonna try 
this one, two, three, fourth one in here, which I wish they would have a name on, but they don't. And I'm gonna just go a little bit on the bottom, halfway. And I never know what it looks till I put my glasses on and sometimes I go, <laughs> I look like, it's Kathy's clown. <laughs> So yeah, that just kind of softened it a little bit. So then the powder I got is, of course, CoverGirl powder. And uh, it is the clean professional one. And it is 110 translucent light, it is. So we're gonna try this. Oops. And I have my famous little powder brush that broke a long time ago. This is a Bare Minerals brush. I think I've had this brush for I don't know. I want to say 15 years. CoverGirl powder has a little noxema y smell to me, which I'm not a lover of. I don't know if there's, there's no, none in the makeup that I can smell, but the powder smells a little noxema ish to me. I'm not sure. So. Just a little swipe of powder. And that's pretty much it. Just a little bit to set it. You know, I'm, I'm still on the fence about um, setting your powder under your eyes, but because it kind of creases up a little bit to me under the eyes. You have to be really careful with powder under the eyes for mature skin, I think. So that is pretty much it on the foundation. So that outside of my CoverGirl Outlast, um, my under eye concealer, which is okay, the ink pen, um, the powder, it's all CoverGirl. And we're going to do the mascara now. And I bought this mascara, which is called CoverGirl Peacock Flare. And this is the way they show it. I'm not sure it's so peacocky flary. Uh, it's got a control grip, well, whoopee, uh, but it's peacock flare. I thought maybe when I did it, I was going to have these long kind of aqua lashes. That's the way they show it. I don't know. It's false advertisement because it's black. Anyway, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes and uh, let me be right back. Because <laughs> some of you hate that when I curl or anybody curls their eyelashes, but we'll hold that. Okay, so we're going to get with the peacock flare. I've noticed that this one here, it seems to be a little runny to me and you have to really put a lot of coats on so i like my l'oreal mascara the best but i wanted to give this peacock a try so i'm gonna put it on not to bore you i'll be back with peacock feathers you'll see <laughs> all right there's one peacock eye i think um, it's not too bad. It separates the lashes good. So that's just one eye. See, it's just never really done until you're done. <laughs> so let me do the other eye. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, there's my peacock lashes. I don't know what you think. Um, not too bad. Just takes a little longer. I would have liked them if it had been aqua on the to top, though. No, I'm kidding. But this, is, uh, this isn't this is too bad. It just, I like the way it doesn't clump. It, I don't see any clumping on my lashes, except for the clumps that I like, because they look thicker and fuller, because I'm crazy that way. So what I can see, I think it's pretty decent. That's pretty much the CoverGirl look that you're gonna see. That's the uh, primer, uh, which is really kind of smooth and creamy. You can read the ingredients if you'd like. Uh, that is the, now the, uh, the CoverGirl makeup that I use is 855. And for some reason, the new 855s are a lot lighter than the old 855s. The old 855s were darker. So sometimes I have to mix this with an 860, which is dark to get my color. I always usually have to blend my makeups together. My skin tone is such that it just, uh, 
I just have to blend color sometimes because it just never ever matches. So uh, you've got the the purely uh, purely plum. Now that I have my glasses on, let's see. It's purely plum. Just three colors in the in the cheekers, which I love love these colors. And if you want to glow at all, this last one on this side here is light, and you can you know do your glowy. Uh, nose a little bit. I don't glow my nose too much because I told you my nose was broken and I'm very conscious about that. I should have had it fixed. Of all the plastic surgeries that there are out there, something that simple when my nose was broke, well, plastic surgery wasn't around for that too much back then, but I do remember a doctor asking me if I wanted it fixed and I said no and I should have had it done. And all these years that I could have had plastic surgery on my nose to fix it, I never did. So I got that. We've got the ink. The, the pencil, which is the ink pencil, which is awesome. I really, really, really like the way this goes on. It's a very creamy kind of a pencil. I like it's not harsh. It doesn't drag your eye uh, skin. I really, really like that. In my eyebrows, guys, I don't do oh, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I have this um, eyebrow uh, pencil crayon brush thing. This is by NY, NYK though. Um, that I could do, well, I don't do anything to my eyebrows, but I do, I have bought this before, the NYK one, uh, it's got the pencil on this side, I'm real afraid. Of, I don't like dark, bushy eyelashes. I think it. I think it makes you look, makes you look too hard. I don't like it. So that is that look, and that was pretty easy, pretty pretty easy. I mean, I talked some, but so then the the lipstick I got is a CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lip Color. Uh, this is called Rose Pearl, and it comes with the lip color and the moisturizer that you put on top that keeps it all day. Let's see. It's, a, it's apply the color to clean lips, let dry 60 seconds. Don't press lips together. Apply the moisturizer after. I don't have a CoverGirl pencil to put around my lip liner I didn't buy, but I do have this MAC one here that I can just, it's called Barely, what's it called? It's called Boldly Bare, that I can just go around my lips with to prevent any uh, bleeding. Uh, with your lipstick, just to give it some definition. And we will try, this is a little, a little bright for me, but it's pretty, it's a really pretty color. So let's try the lipstick. Maybe I can. Oh, it said don't pat your lips. How can you do that without patting? It's just so, I want to go, oh. But it says not to. And you know, I'm such a direction follower. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, as soon as they say don't pat your lips, I want to pat my lips. <laughs> okay, so this... Don't pat my lips. Don't pat your lips. Don't pat your lips. <laughs> so that is um, Rose, what did I say it was? Rose Pearl. So that's pretty, that's pretty. So it says wait a few minutes, so let's wait a few minutes and then I'll put the top coat on. <laughs> okay, I think it's pretty dry. Now the top coat is just it's a little lipstick like this. It's clear. That's a moisturizer. And that. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
goes on like so. And that, my girls, is my get ready with me with all CoverGirl products. And I really like them. Like I say, they, this is not bad. Maybe for you, uh, this is not bad. I do like my Milani better than this for coverage, but it really is not bad. And you can see my canvas is pretty good. And the color, you don't see it sticking in my cracks anywhere. <laughs> so it's, uh, I like that. It's a very soft uh, look. It's a very natural look for being matured because you don't want a hard look when or cakey look when you're matured. You want to keep a soft look, but you, you need coverage when you're older. You need the blendability of makeup. You need to cover imperfections. So you really need a full coverage that's blendable that doesn't sit on your face like a, like a piece of chalk. So you want something that's blendable, that gives you coverage, that doesn't stick in your fine lines, that lasts all day. And I think the CoverGirl uh, foundation, for me, is uh, really good. There are other ones that I like. But for me, I think it's good. I like the powder. Uh, it does smell a little Noxema-ish. I don't know why that is. I think CoverGirl always did though, but it's not a bad smell. It's a very clean smell. So I, I don't mind that. I don't see any of that in, to, in the products here. CoverGirl is cruelty free now. So that's a good thing. I don't see anything with a um, Noxema base in the foundation. The foundation is great. If you have not tried the CoverGirl foundation, by all means, I don't have an affiliate link. I've just been using it forever. And so now let me go finish the way I started and I'll be right back. Okay, so that, my friends, was my CoverGirl makeup get ready with me. Uh, I think I pretty much like everything. So I'm glad you came by. I'm glad you, um, you hopefully enjoyed this CoverGirl um, Cover Get Ready With Me uh, as much as I enjoyed doing them for you. No, I don't enjoy doing Get Ready With Me. I just can't see and I feel like I'm half the time I'm looking here and I'm putting on my glasses and uh, anyway. So I know you love Get Ready With Me, so I did it for you. So thank you so much for coming by. I so appreciate you. Uh, we are going to probably do our giveaway this weekend coming up. Uh, so you want to stay tuned for that. And good luck to all of you. Stay safe. And uh, thanks for coming into my living room today. You know how much I love you and appreciate you. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.